Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Let me turn you guys here a little bit. There we go. Um, today I want to work on this little shovel that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I did a shovel a couple years ago, but it was all plastic. Now this one has a nice wood handle on it. And I did take my handy dandy little Dremel here and I cut a hole through it so I can put a wire through here so I can hang this when it's done. But if you can't drill it, you could always just hot glue um, a piece of wire or something on the back to hang it because they're very, very light. And I want to decorate this up pretty with some flowers. And I'm hoping I can find one of the little birds I have to put on here too. I think it'll look really pretty. But first we have to change the color of this whole thing. So this part down here, I'm going to paint with some of Waverly's ink colored chalk paint um, to make it the bottom a black shovel here. And then I'm also going to use some of this uh, sterling silver metallic. This is folk art chalk paint too. Um, yeah, it's just called sterling silver metallic. And uh, just to add some little details onto this shovel. And then for the handle, I'm going to use some of this Rust-Oleum wood stain. Um, this is American walnut. You can use whatever you want. You could actually use, a lot of times I will just use the real brown um, acrylic paint and add some water to it, thin it out, and make it to use it as a stain too. So you don't have to, you know, use a stain if you don't want to. But I figured this time I'm going to use some of this. I haven't used it in a while. And I am going to put my glove on, which I usually forget and end up with stain all over my hands. <laughs> but that's why I pick up these um, vinyl gloves. They're not the latex. I don't like the latex. Some of them are smaller than the others. Um, and then you're going to need a paper towel and a little sponge brush. So let's get this lid off of here and hopefully I don't make a mess with the stain. All right, so you don't need a lot of this at all. So we are just going to stain this up here real quick. Paint some of this right on here. Don't worry if it gets on your plastic because you can wipe that right off. I uh, just want to make sure I get the whole thing just covered in some of this stain. And I think it's starting to thunder outside again. It's been a crazy day. The sun's out and then it, it's cloudy and then it thunders. It's just a weird day. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's just how easy that is. You just rub all that on there. And then we're just going to take our paper towel after a couple minutes here. I'm just going to let it sit for a second and get rid of this brush. And then we'll cover this up before I spill it because it's always a possibility <laughs> when I get going on stuff. Well, I think I'll leave this on until I wipe it off. All right, so you just let it sit for a second. And I'm just going to wipe it off of the yellow. And then we are just going to take this paper towel and pretty much wipe that down. And there you go. I love that color. It's a very pretty color. You could do whatever color you wanted to because, you know, it's just a nice plain wood on these handles. And I like this much better. The only difference with the other one is the shovel part is much smaller than the other one that I did. But we're going to work with it here because, I don't know, in my head I thought it was bigger than it is. So I'm going to have to change my plan here of how I'm decorating it. But I think this will make a really cute spring summer decoration so that is it that's how you stain these little guys so simple you do the same thing if you put the um the brown paint on if you thin that out put some on there let it sit for a few minutes and then just wipe it down and you have a nice stained look to it all right so now i'm going to take this uh waverly chalk paint here and i'm probably gonna i'm sure i'm gonna have to use two coats um because usually do here. I'm not even going to pour it out. I'm just going to dip right in here with a brush and I got to find me another brush because all my brushes are dirty. Okay, here's one. These are my favorite brushes from Dollar Tree. So, oh, you know what I wanted to do? I do need to get a piece of, uh, what are the odds I'm going to find that right off? Here it is, painter's tape. And I just want to put it around the top here so I don't end up getting any black on my my birds are so loud right now I apologize but I'm just gonna put a little bit of this painters tape on here just so I don't paint my wood by accident just to make my life a little easier here all right so there we go so now I can actually get up in this top piece here and not worry that I'm gonna mess my whole shovel handle up all right, so we're just going to put a couple good coats of this on here. This stuff covers so nicely. Um, yeah, that's why I needed the paint, because I want to get that top, 
get rid of the yellow there. But see how nice that covers just in one coat. But, yep, so. But these are really easy to paint. This will take, like, no time at all. Just you have to wait for them to dry. That's the hardest part, just waiting for them to dry. Or if you have a heat gun or whatever. I should have really sanded this up a little bit. So if you do it, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Take a piece of sandpaper and lightly go over this because I do think there's like a little oily stuff to it here. You can rough it up a little bit, but it's covering pretty good anyway. All right, so I'm gonna let this side dry here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this back thing with two coats of this black and then we can come back and add the silver. All right, this little guy's nice and dry now. Now we have our little black shovel with a um, nice brown handle. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of this, <clears throat> excuse me, sterling silver folk art paint here. Um, just not too, too much of it, just around like the edges of it to kind of make it look a little worn or whatever. Um, I think I'm actually going to dip this in here and wipe most of it off and see how we do here. I'm just going to kind of put it around here, you know, like where you would have where it's been used a lot or whatever, just to give it a little something there. Maybe a little bit up here. But I'm going to be decorating up here, so you're really not going to see too much of it. Just a little bit around the edges. You only need the tiniest bit of this paint. Um, and I might put a few little streaks of it here and there and here. Just so it's not just as flat black. It kind of looks like you dug a couple holes with it <laughs> or something. But yeah, so that's it. That's all I'm going to do in here. And then up here, we're going to put our flowers and things to decorate this up a little bit. So you're not going to need too much. So I got way too much of that paint out as it was. But there you go. That just looks like it has a nice little... I think I want that up just a little bit higher here on the bottom. Um, Yeah, I wiped most of it off on my paper towel here, but just to give that a little, a little shine. So I think that looks cute right there like that. So we're going to leave that be. So let me move that out of the way. Um, yeah, I only needed like a drop of this silver. All right, so let's see if we can finish this up here without my, me sticking my arm in that paint. <laughs> <clears throat> now, I couldn't find the wire I was looking for, of course, because, you know, I'm doing this video. But to hang this up, I'm going to take some of this floral wire, and I'm going to make um, three pieces, probably about 10 inches long, <clears throat> and cut three the same size. And then I just put them together, and I just twisted them all up until I had a nice piece of wire here. I don't know where the wire is that I know I have somewhere, but we're just going to slip that right through this hole here and then you can kind of or like I said you could glue something on the back of it if you want to but this is going to be my little hanger here and I can shorten this up later if I want to I'm not quite sure exactly where this is going to be hanging yet but there we go we have a little you can move that down to the side too you don't have to have it up there this little Nice little hanger here to hang this little shovel up. All right, so now for down here, I'm going to take some of this boxwood, my favorite thing that I found at Walmart. Um, they do have some greens at Dollar Tree, but they're much bigger, so I really like these to do a lot of different things with it. I just love the look of them. They're so pretty. So if you happen to see these at Walmart, grab a couple. They're not, I think they're like $1.88 or something like that, and this I've cut a whole bunch of them off of here already. So you get a lot out of there. And then I have these little bitty flowers here that I found at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use a few of the yellow and a few of the pink. And then I'm going to use the tiniest piece of moss I'm going to put on here because I want it to be underneath this little birdie. Now I did find one of my little birdies downstairs in my stash of goodies. I've probably had these little birdies for... <sighs> 10 or 15 years because I bought like a whole box of them years ago. I believe I got them at Michael's. It could have been AC Moore, which no longer exists, but you can look these up. I have to look up on Timu. I have not looked for these on there to see if they have any of these little um, birds, but any cute look at this little face. They're so darn cute. But yeah, you can find them in different craft stores. 
Um, like I said, I've had these forever. So I wanted a brighter color one, but you know, he'll do. All right, so we're going to take this boxwood here, and I am just going to hot glue some of this right here on the center. And if you're going to use this outside, you might want to use a little bit of E6000 on here, just because if it's going to be out in the sun, um, sometimes that hot glue will let go on you. But it should stick pretty well because it's plastic underneath here. So I'm hoping that'll, that'll just do the trick. So I want that there, and I'm going to put one off to the side here like this. I don't want it up too high because my little birdie's going to sit up there. So um, let's see, which way is that going to sit down lower? And you can twist these all around too, so that's what's great about these. To get them exactly the way you want them to sit. All right, now, come on. So that should work. Right there, we're going to glue it. So let me just stick some glue down there. Try not to drop this so I can get it in the right spot. And we're going to glue it right down into that um, little curve in the shovel there. And that should hold that pretty good there. And then after we get these on, then we're going to add in some of the pretty flowers, which will look really cute. And you could trim some of these off if you have to, or whatever. Um, let go. I'm not putting a lot on here. You can add as much as you want. You could decorate the handle if you want to. This is just going to be a very just simple little piece. I just think this will look pretty out by my um, flower pots and things. I, I think it'll just add a little, little something. trying to get these to go down in that curve and then I'll probably end up putting another piece of boxwood over this center just to cover up where all these different little pieces meet and all the glue mess that I'm making all right so now I want to figure out how to put a couple of these different little flowers in here I don't want a lot of them I think that's good right there. I'll hold this up better once I get these glued down here um, to show you how they look. So we got a little pink one over there. I might put a couple pinks and a couple yellows on each side. So I think I'll put another pink one there. You definitely need a finger protector for this so you don't burn your fingers. I'm just going to hold it so it cools off and stands up there where I want it. And just try to keep all your stems toward the center here. That way we can cover them up really simple with um, some of those uh, boxwood. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to think and talk at the same time. It's not working. Uh, let's see. Webs, webs, webs. I think that's good right there. I'm just going to put a yellow one. I may only put one yellow one over here. Just get that to glue down to the other ones. Get in there. That's how I just stuck those in there on the side like that. Just a little something. I may add maybe a couple in the center. I don't know yet. We'll wait till we get everything on here. And, you know, you can change your mind a million times. Um, you get it just how you want it. So let me turn this a little bit this way so we can tuck some of these flowers over here. I think my issue is with these is I have the stems a little bit too long. All right, so that'll look good right there. So let's see, we want this little guy sticking right out of there. You just kind of got to hold it a second, otherwise it'll pop out of your hot glue. Alright, so we got that one. I don't want these up too high because I want to leave room for my my little birdie. Actually, I should probably do that, but we're going to get these on here. Let's get these on here. Alright, so I don't want that one, another one up very high because it will hide my little bird. So I think that's good right there. 
tuck that under these. And then we need a little splash of yellow in here. So we'll put that one right, tuck that one right underneath this little loose piece. Right there. And I think that will do it for this side. All right, and like I said, I may add a few more in here, but let's get this other stuff on here. Um, come on, cool off. All right, so I'm just going to take this little bitty bit of moss. It's not much of anything. It's just the tiniest piece here because you're not going to see too much of it. And I didn't really want it to take up too, too much room, but we are going to glue that up here on this top rim of the shovel just to make a little birdie nest. Just right there like so. Very cute. It's very cloudy out again right now. Why is it doing this to me? I'm guessing you can see that okay. It's hard for me to tell when I'm looking at this little teeny weeny screen. But there's our little bird nest up there. And then we're going to take our little birdie. And we're going to add a big glop of glue so it goes through that moss. Um, and we're just going to stick this little cutie pie right here. So she's just kind of peeking out. I don't want it back too far because you don't want it to, um, when you hang it, you don't want it to touch like the wall or anything. But there's our little birdie in her nest. I got to adjust this lamp here. Is that better? Yes. There you go. There's the little birdie sitting on her little nest. And it doesn't stick back because um, see how this, it curves out in the back. So that gives you a little room to play with there so it won't touch the wall when you're finished. All right, so now we got our little, pretty little bird and our little straw sticking out. I may add a little bit more underneath here um, so you can see a little bit more of that moss. Oh, where'd you go, moss? I threw it away. I thought I had enough. But we are gonna tuck a little bit more underneath this birdie. So I'm just gonna make a little ball of Moss. This is just the, the regular Spanish moss from Dollar Tree. But I think this will look cute stuck up underneath there. So let's add a little more hot glue up under there. And give her a little bit more of a nest to sit on. That's better. You really couldn't see it. Whoops. Don't come off of there. There we go. Now you can see her little nest a little bit better with her little flowers. All right, so that's adorable. Love the little birdie. All right. All right, so let's grab another piece of this boxwood and you can just cut these right off up close, you know, so you don't have a big stem sticking down or anything. And then we can kind of wiggle this in here to cover up all of our ends so you won't see any of that. See when we put that piece over top of it, all of your little messy ends under there disappear. So that's what we're going to do. Put some glue there, a little bit under here. And then of course make sure you got your finger protector on so you're not getting stuck in this. So that'll stick out really cute right there. And then I am going to stick a couple more little flowers in there. I'm not getting the glue. How cute though, right? You can't go wrong with a little birdie. Oh, that's sweet. Love it. And if you wanted to, you could spray this with like a clear coat before you put the decorations on if it's going to be out. Mine's going to be on, a, it's covered the porch so it really it's never going to get like wet wet. Um, <clears throat> well I think it should be fine. Once I get my flowers, we don't have those yet. Alright, so let's just stick a couple little more flowers in here and I think I'm just going to cut pretty much all of this stem off of here. And just glue these little flowers in with the boxwoods. Uh, there's my pink ones. Just 
glue one there. We'll put one over here. Oh, how stinking cute is that? I love these. Love these, love these little decorated shovels. Um, what do I want here? I think I want another pink one. There, I think I'll just leave that one right in there like that. So there you go. Look how cute. Now you could add more, you could add bigger flowers, whatever you want to do. I wanted mine to just be kind of tiny, because this shovel's way smaller than what I had pictured in my head, because I know I did that one years ago, and it was a much, much bigger shovel. But I think this is adorable for a little decoration. So that's it. That's all I'm going to do to this little baby. I am just going to leave her sit there on her nest. And um, I'll hang this up and take a nice picture of it at the end here. But thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this project. And I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.